He stinks, and I don't like him. Birds are faggots. Useless. Really are. Get up. This is how stupid they are. It, when they're in the cage, if you throw like a towel over it, they think it's night. <laughs> <laughs> how do you not just kill those things on principle? <laughs> Bunch of dopes. <laughs> How do they survive and morph from dinosaurs to become such dopes? <laughs> a pillowcase makes it nighttime. It's they five. Should... It's it's four in the afternoon. Pillow. Oh, well, it's dark. All right. <laughs> 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 These should be the smartest things on the face of the earth. Being around that long. Yeah, they're, the, they're the last of the dinosaurs. Last of the, the dinosaurs. Part. Right. Been around for. <laughs> they can fly for God's sake. Ah, the rooster's crowing. First thing in the morning, towel on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how am I going to get up for work? It's so late. <laughs> uh, every time I see a bird, I want to grab it by the tail feathers and smash it into a wall. <laughs> Look, just, it's night. <laughs> just be a bad pet owner and just keep taking the pillowcase <laughs> off and on. <laughs> on and off, on and off, on and off. Yeah. I must be 50 years old by now. Yeah. So many birds. days have gone by. <laughs> Chap chap. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should do to old people. Whenever they start talking too much, you throw a face cloth on them. They just think it's night. <laughs> fall asleep. Oh, it's so dark. I've missed my programs. <laughs> when I was your age, shut up. Towel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your father was the. <laughs> Towel. <laughs> Old bird body grandma. <laughs> she still got coffee in her hand. Towels over her dumb old face. He's spilling it. Stop, you're spilling it. Uh, put this towel over your head and go to sleep. Your grandson, Frank. <laughs> How do animals fall asleep so quickly? I tossed and turned for two hours last night on comfy feather pillows. <laughs> that annoy the hell out of you when you watch a cat curl up and just click, he's asleep. He's, well, he doesn't have to worry about anything. Birds are standing up, holding on to something with their feet <laughs> so they don't fall over and paralyze themselves. And there they are, la la land. Sleeping. What the hell? I know I'm rolling up, waking up at 3 in the morning, can't get back to sleep. How do you sleep and hold on for dear life at the same time? <laughs> What about, the fl- try. what about the flamingos that uh, stand on one leg and go to one sleep? One leg. Try that one at home. Just st- tuck a leg <laughs> under your armpit and now go to sleep. Why do they tuck the other? I don't understand that. Why? Ah, they want to they want to keep warm. It's dopey. You know what the worst part is? <laughs> oh, no. See, exactly. <laughs> I knew it. What's the matter? Tom Chiasano just walked in, and he's a bird owner. <laughs> oh, no. I want to complain about your insensitivity to birds. <laughs> I own birds. <laughs> what, what kind what? do you have? I have an African gray parrot. Does it talk to you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a talking bird. Unfortunately, the talking birds, it sounds all well and fine, but most of the time they're just going, Ack! 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 Like, What is so that? I like when they go like, hello, hello, hi, hi, Tom, Tom. But but you walk past them and they go, <laughs> your, 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 your neighbors think a murder is going on at your house. You spend an hour trying to get the damn thing to say one lousy one word. One word that's just screaming just at you. just talk stupid. This bird talks up a blue streak. Really? Yeah. What does it say? What it, and and how sorts, did it? All sorts of stuff. Uh, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of different stuff. Yeah. It says, may, may, we taught it to be, say, may the force be with you. It, uh, <laughs> how old is this bird? <laughs> Does it wear glasses? <laughs> <laughs> had, a geek had bird. for like 18 years. Wow. This really? Bird, this bird will outlive me easy. They live like 50 years. Does it say, why didn't you give me more money? <laughs> 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 In February, it was going, ah, you should have hired me instead. <laughs> 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 wow, how old do they uh, how old do they get? They live to be like 50. Jeez. 50 or 60. And but is is it true you put the cover on and Oh yeah, at night and uh <laughs> Yeah. You cover him up at night. And he falls says right good night. Sleep. Good night. He said yeah. Good night. It's a good night. towel, you oh, yeah. idiot. <laughs> right. I mean, it only says it's noon. It only says good night because they've heard my wife and I saying good night to it and my son saying good night to it for the years when we would cover him up. Nothing inappropriate. It's all it's all, it's all conditioned response. The bird doesn't say anything inappropriate. Maybe heard a couple of things. Uh, no, so one of Tim, one of my son's friends taught him to say "cook me." 
That's about it. That's about it. Yeah. No, like, dirty words. No. Or anything. It's FCC compliant. Yes, it is. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think it would have been a better hey, hire before yeah. us to hire the bird. Hey, it's my bird. Of course it's FCC compliant. <laughs> I would listen to a whole radio show hosted With by just a... Hosted by a talking bird. Yeah, why not? <laughs> a boozy, boozy bird. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Plus, we have four others. Four? You have five Four birds. Others. You have five birds, yeah. You're, okay. Crazy bird people. Yeah. Right. Now, my, crazy my, cat people. My wife crazy is, bird people. Uh, is dander allergic to dogs and cats, so we got birds. Birds. Two parakeets. Um, a, parakeets just sing, though, right? They yeah, they're, actually, they're, the, they're the coolest of the birds. They make the best noise. Yeah. A Belgian canary, which sings beautifully. And um, a Madagascar pa- parrot, which is blind in one eye, my wife took in as Oof. a mercy mission. Hey, Jim, does it talk also? Uh, no. No? Hey, Jim, can I'm, you throw I'm a towel over Tom, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I said I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of here. I, 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 I Tom just nods off when you put a towel over his <laughs> I head. I can see where this is going. All right, I'm out of here. Right, Tom. But, Please, Tom, what's no, the matter? Well, no we more, have five towels. <laughs> <laughs> no more insensitive remark about birds and birds owners, please. I apologize. They will was, dump out of anything we talk about birds. We accept your being, apology. On behalf being of, of my lobby, we accept your apology. <laughs> there's, no, there's, no, there's no carpets in Tom's house. It's all just newspaper on everything. <laughs> oh, they eat everything. Eat everything. Really? Oh, you don't, well, you've got to buy them bird seed. But, but carpet, wood, carpet. you name it. Oh, it's eaten That's through wonderful. a frame of a window. But you, have a, you live in a home or you live in an apartment? Home. Okay. Mm. That makes sense. Home with a bunch of holes near the windows and there he big patches missing from the carpet. Birds are loud, wonderful. though. My grandmother Too had loud. Years ago. They just make noise. That's all they do. When they could talk, it, it is wonderful. It's fun. I, I like when you see a big parrot somewhere and, and it's talking, but yeah. like I said, most of the time. Ah! Can we lock that side door, please? <laughs> no. Holy if crap. If Tom wants to come in and contribute. That was he his has first appearance on our show, and it was terrific. <laughs> <laughs> he had bird information. Brett, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I got a question. How come they didn't dump out on Tom when he talked about his bird eating carpet? Ooh, check out the big brain on Brett. Know why? Because he put the listeners to sleep and the guy behind the dump button That's to sleep. Right. <laughs> You've got to be awake to dump out of the program. The FCC would try to listen to that part of the show, and they'd all doze off. <laughs> I That's got, known as a verbal towel. I'm a bird owner. I got many birds, do you? I, I thought it was nice to learn a little bit. You enjoyed the bird talk with Tom about, Chiasano. Well, we the, can have bird talk every morning with Tom Chiasano. The talking bird thing was very interesting. I'm going to talk about my birds, and I'm going to name them in order of the <laughs> poverty-stricken country they come from. <laughs> I have the, uh, no one cares, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's looking at him politely like uh, we cared. Look at his sharp dresser. Don't. I was looking at his tie, actually. Can we just be here three weeks, maybe, before we start? I happen to like Tom very much. He's a, he's a Jim, did you gentleman. care? About what? His birds. Who's birds? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who has birds? Who has birds? They're stupid pets. Get rid of them. <laughs> I don't know. Why did I miss something during my nap before? <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> wow, no how respect. That, that must be a fun discussion at New Year's Eve. <laughs> Trying to talk about a chick he had sex with. He's got a glass. You know, my fourth bird. The little fellow was sick today. We had to <laughs> We had to rush him to the bird hospital. There's only one in the country. We allowed him out of We allowed him out of the cage for the day. We thought that would make him a little happier. Yeah. We tried to free him, and instead of being grateful and landing on our shoulder, he flew against the window until he almost died <laughs> to get away.